Great now to be joined by one of the top prospects as we head towards the NHL entry draft, and that's Quentin Byfield, a big, strong forward with the Sudbury Wolves. Uh, you watched the madness unfold on TV. Uh, what did you make of what we saw in phase one of the draft lottery, Q? Yeah, I know it was definitely a, it was crazy. A lot of, uh, a lot of stuff that happened um, going on. So it was definitely a lot of fun to watch, um, you know, back in New America with my buddies. And um, we definitely enjoyed watching and all the excitement. And I'm definitely nervous for the f future, but definitely excited as well. Do you feel you have a better sense of where you might land? Our, our Sam Cosentino has you uh, ranked as the third overall prospect. You're on most lists, either third or second. And we have LA in second and, and Ottawa in third. Do you have a better sense now of, of where you might be playing next year? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, just just being um able to be up there and um, you know, just in the conversations for those picks and um, it's definitely really really nice and um, you know, definitely a little bit more comfortable than I uh, uh, see where I'm going now and um, you know, it's definitely nice and both those both those teams are definitely great and both those teams are definitely great to go to and um, you know, if I make my mark on one of those teams, definitely going to be a lot of fun. And, um, you know, I can't wait to go there and make a good experience there. Such a unique year with the pandemic. So there was no combine. There was no face-to-face -face meetings with the NHL executives. But how did the Zoom meetings go specifically with Rob Blake and the LA Kings uh, and Pierre Dorian and the Ottawa Senators? Yeah, um, you know, I actually didn't have a Zoom call with LA yet. Um, you know, mm -hmm. they told my they told my agents and stuff, um, you know, they didn't think they were going to be picking that high. So, um, you know, they, they didn't uh, want to bother me or anything. So I'll probably have to do one of those calls soon. Uh, hopefully, and, um, you got to talk to those guys and, um, see what they're ha what's happening and see what they're looking like as well and um, you know but with the Ottawa Senators it's definitely definitely a good call um, with Peter Dorian and those guys you know they're really nice and um, you know have a lot to talk to and um, they said after quarantine hopefully they can uh, take me out to dinner and you know get to know me a bit more and you know I'm definitely looking forward for that. Pierre Dorian uh, had an interview with Ron McLean immediately following the NHL draft lottery and he, and he said a uh, special, raw, powerful, incredible skill. He was talking about you. Does that sum up your game pretty nicely? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I'm definitely, uh, you know, more more of an athletic guy. You know, as a bigger guy, I'm, um, you know, I can move around the ice really well and use my athletic ability to my, um, you know, to attack offensively and use it all over the ice. So, um, you know, definitely a lot of raw talent um, for sure. And But, you know, I combine it with a lot of work ethic. And, um, you know, I think that's what really creates my game. So. Um, definitely a compliment, um, you know, from those guys, and I'm uh, really excited for that. You don't turn 18 till August. I mean, you're one of the youngest draft-eligible players. Uh, do you think the GMs and the, the team should be factoring that in, that essentially you still have another year of growth? Uh, you know, you're 10 months younger than Lafreniere. Yeah, no, I definitely think so. Um, you know, being a, a year younger um, definitely has a lot of de uh, development to go into. So, um, you know, I think that definitely should be in, um, in some consideration um, you know, looked at a little bit, but, um, you know, I think with another year of experience, I can definitely get a little bit better. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to improve and, um, you know, every year and every off season. So uh, I think I definitely get a little bit better over a year. And, um, you know, I think it would be a contender for uh, being one of the best players for, um, you know, in our draft class in, in the year. Listen, you're known as a bow tie aficionado. You're not rocking one tonight, but uh, what kind of fashion style and sense are you going to be bringing when you make it to the National Hockey League? Yeah, no, definitely. I'll, I'll still be rocking the bow tie for sure. Uh, I definitely started that back when I was younger. Um, you know, I definitely didn't, I didn't like wearing the tie too much. I thought it hurt my neck a bit. And, you know, I like being a little bit different than everyone else. So I thought the bow tie was definitely a cool look to go with. So I kind of stuck with that. And, you know, I'm going to definitely continue to stick with that. Something else that caught my eye, you're a big center, uh, but you wear number 55. You, you like Sergey Gonchar, so you're honoring him. Were you groomed to be a defenseman and you, you shifted over to the, the center position as a big, strong guy? Yeah, I actually happened when I was uh, a little bit younger when I was playing. I um, just started hockey. I started off as a defenseman, but uh, when I kept going on up the ranks and started playing um, AAA, they moved me to forward because I was rushing the puck too much and they, they wanted someone else back on D, so... Um, they thought it was best for me to just go um, play forward and uh, play center so I can play both those roles and, um, you know, not get caught up ice and be able to play defense, though. So um, they definitely moved me and moved my position for that reason, for sure. When you look at the two possible destinations, and of course you can go anywhere, but let's say you do land in the two or three spot. One of them is to go out to California and play in the Los Angeles Kings with an Andre Kopitar who's a cup winner and, you know, probably a pretty good guy to, to mentor you. Otherwise, you could be going to Ottawa, a good up and, you know, young up and coming team in your home province. Uh, how do you weigh those two situations? Yeah, no, there's definitely uh, both of them have a really positive situation to go into. And, um, you know, I'll just start off with Ottawa. Uh, they, got, they got a lot of young prospects ready and um, upcoming. So, um, you know, they're going to be a good team in a couple of years. And 
I'm um, just being able to part of that if I hope that I could be. And I'm um, just being a uh, part of the solution there would definitely be a lot of fun. Um, you know, they're a young team. I think they have a lot in the future and have a bright future. And um, same with LA as well. Um, you know, just as you mentioned, Ozzy Kopitar, he's one of the best two-way centers in the game. And, you know, he has a lot of offense. And, um, you know, they've won a couple of cups in the past years and um, know what it takes. So, um, you know, just going with that crew as well, uh, I think they have a lot more to give. And um, they could be exceptional team soon as well. I'll leave you with this, uh, Quentin. I, you want to have a message out there to these NHL GMs, the executives, the, the scouts that are wanting to know what you're about as a person, what you're about as a player. What's your message to those teams? Uh, you no, know, that's a good question. Um, you know, I'm definitely definitely a guy who will come in each day, try and be the best player, and um, you know, just be able to compete with my teammates. And um, you know, on the ice and off the ice, I hate losing and always want to be the best. So, um, you know, I always come in every day, working my heart out, and um, you know, as I said, just trying to be the best. And, um, you know, just a good teammate, always there for the guys. And, um, you know, just, just love being around hockey and just the camaraderie with the boys. And, um, you know, even the fans appreciate it all. So, you know, it's just a lucky, lucky to be, um, you know, hopefully being doing that as my job one day. And, um, you know, I'm definitely appreciative of that. And I uh, can't wait to do that. Well, it's fun to see uh, all the progress you've made. I remember watching you out with uh, York Simcoe Express. And here you are now uh, on the cusp of being an NHL player. So, uh, congratulations and uh, enjoy phase two of the NHL draft lottery. We'll find out who gets the first overall pick and uh, best of luck moving forward, Quentin. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thanks for having me.